Bonjour everyone, welcome back to our farmhouse in Burgundy. Um, I've really spent the last couple of weeks taking it easy and trying to get rid of this cold that just keeps going on and on. So I haven't really done much. There's definitely winter in the air, the days are getting incredibly short. I should have done lots of work in our garden, but I've just let it all be and prioritized getting well and rest and what I've done is spent quite some time on a number of design projects for our future kitchen. As you may have seen in the beginning of the video, they have installed the big window, which we absolutely love. And so next steps will be to design the kitchen and also our bedroom that will be upstairs that I'd love to show you in this video. So we're working on designing the big kitchen and also the floor that's upstairs on in the kitchen, over the kitchen, that will be our bedroom. So here's the kitchen that we've now put in all the windows and doors and Olaf has insulated the back wall facing north so that it's nice and comfy. I'll talk about what this kitchen will look like in another video. I want to take you upstairs and show you what our bedroom space will be looking like. And I know that the best way for me to design any space in my home is to have it fit our real life. I would love to create a dream home and just think about how everything should be and what the most perfect situation would be. But I know it doesn't work because the minute you start using the space, you'll just go back to your normal old habits. And, and so I know that it's best to design the spaces according to how I know we live as a family. I've been working from home since 2007. Then I know, I've tried office spaces and everything. I sit at the kitchen table. That is where I wanna work. I know it's the most lively place. I have my coffee machine next to me. And also in our Dutch house, it had the most natural daylight. And I know the same will be true here now that we've installed this big window. So I know I'll be working at a large kitchen table. What I did do, in the Netherlands, I've worked in our kitchen forever. I did training groups there, I did one-to-one -one coaching, I met my clients there. It was a very busy space during the day. But then in the evening, I put all of my work stuff in a designated cupboard where it all went and I couldn't see it. So during the day, our kitchen looked like an office. And then in the evening and in holidays and weekends, it was our family's kitchen. So what I'm going to do is create 
a place in the upstairs bedroom where I can store all of my office and work stuff. I just want to have that designated place and I don't want it to be in the kitchen this time. Now, many would argue that you don't want it to be in your bedroom either. I agree, but again, I'm just designing this for how I know I function. I have done many client meetings and group Zoom sessions in my bedroom here in this house since we're in building works all the time. It's hard sometimes when I do sessions that include people from other time zones, I do them in the evening. So I need to find a space where I can sit comfortably and work while the rest of the house is just going on with their, no, no, their, their thing and their life. So our bedroom will be both for sleeping, of course, and resting and relaxing. I will have a bathtub again, finally, that we haven't had since we've moved from the Netherlands. And I'll also put lots of storage space where I can put all of my work stuff. So as usual, I've made a Pinterest board just to start getting some ideas for the feeling and the vibe of the place. I want to make, or Olaf is going to make, a vanity like this. We've also done our kitchen in the future holiday home like that. And this is a good example of how I want to make the storage space. I think it could really nicely blend in with a wall and then have everything nicely tucked away. So we'll have this luxury, but not too much over the top vibe, a bit earthy, a bit still farm country house style. And I'm just so excited. I can't wait to see this all come together, but I first need to get the good measurements, make some drawings and figure out how exactly we're going to do this. Okay, let me share with you what I have in mind. Here is going to be a small entryway when you come up the stairs and then a door opens into this huge bedroom and I'm going to walk all the way to the corner to show you a different angle. All of these beams are going to stay exposed. We're going to clean them and make sure you can see them and it will be the ceiling will be as high as you could just see. And then up in the corner right there, and that stone wall will be exposed, we'll leave it like that, will be the bathtub and the vanity sitting to the wall that we're going to create to the left. And then the bed is going to be here, like in the center of the room, we're just going to put it like this in the length, plenty of room, and then in the corner right there, we'll make a shower and toilet, so that won't be open in this space. And then all of that wall that's going to come up there is going to be storage. I might even put some desk or kind of thing. And I love how this looks down onto that huge window and also on the table, the dining table that's going to be downstairs. So we're thinking of not making it a solid wall, but putting in a window in that wall that we can have the view and the light coming in. And that will help if I need to work or do Zoom meetings there. Of course, we'll also have a skylight, but this is globally what we have in mind. So, and there are so many details when you've got such a huge space, like where do you want walls to start and end? How high do you want them to be? Do you want to be able to look over the little hallway or are we going to close that up? It's just so many details. You know, I like styling, but I'm not an interior architect and Olaf asks me all these detailed questions. It's quite challenging, but I think we're a really good team. So since I have absolutely no talent for drawing, I'm using this thing called Room Styler that helps you create um, rooms in 3D really convenient for people that have no technical knowledge such as I. Mm -hmm. 